Rex Tillerson is not a politician. He is not a diplomat. He is an engineer and a businessman. And now the U.S. Secretary of State. America still holds all the aces. During his confirmation hearings, he promoted the president's America first view and promised to get tough on China. We're going to have to send China a clear signal that, that first the island building stops and second your access to those islands is also not going to be allowed. Analyst Hillary Mann Leverett says that is a risky strategy. That he and President Trump are looking to work with Russia to contain and bring down China. That is a fool's errand bigger than the invasion of Iraq, bigger than anything the United States has done in my, in my memory of the, of the past, uh, you know, since World War II. I think it would be a disaster for the United States to work with Russia to try to bring, in, bring down China. Some Republican senators voiced concern about Tillerson because he has close ties to Russia and its president, Vladimir Putin. Tillerson angered some senators when he refused to label Putin a war criminal for Russia's actions in Syria. But he did say that Russia was a danger to the U.S., but one that he wanted to try and work with. Now that Tillerson has been confirmed, he'll head over to a State Department missing many of its career senior leadership. They were basically fired by the Trump administration. He'll lead a department filled with many diplomats who have publicly said in this cable they disagree with Trump's foreign policies. And if he is going to be effective, analysts say he needs to get his boss, Donald Trump, to tone it down. This is not normal, and it is not helpful. It is not supportive of America's foreign policy interests to essentially disinvite a head of state via Twitter uh, to publicly question NATO for President Trump to effectively uh, advance America's interests in the world. He will have to take that responsibility of how he manages his communication much more seriously. So far, this has been all Trump's show. It's not at all clear how big a role he intends to let his cabinet have especially on the world stage. Patty Culhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.